Well, hi everyone. Um, this is Karine's VSG, and I thought it was time for another update. It's been a month since I posted last time, so I thought I would just give you a quick update. Um, let's see. Everything's pretty much status quo. Nothing's really changed. Doesn't sound like anything's going to change. Doesn't matter what I do. Doesn't matter what I eat, how I eat it, how much I eat it, when I eat it. It doesn't matter how much I walk. It doesn't matter how much I don't walk. Um, it doesn't seem to affect anything. Uh, so I'm in the same status quo. I'm at 147 pounds, 146 pounds, 140. I got down to 144 about a week ago and I was thinking, oh good, we're going down. Nope. I was back up to 146 the next day. So must have been a freak day. So anyway, on to my journey. So that's everything's status quo. My highest weight was 240 pounds. My pre-surgery weight was 224. My pre-surgery weight was 204. I had my surgery at St. Mary's Essential Health Clinic in Duluth, Minnesota with Dr. Matthew Bettendorf in, on May 4th, 2017. So um, I am over two years out and I am status quo. Um, there doesn't, yeah, I'm kind of in the same position I was when I was overweight. I could do anything I wanted to do. I could not eat for a week. I could not eat carbs. I could not eat meats. I could eat just vegetables. I could eat whatever and same amounts, less amounts, whatever. And I never lost weight. I'm at that same position right now. I don't know, my body must have a set point and it just says, nope, no more. And no matter what I do, nothing moves, nothing moves. I have been regretting not having R and Y because I think I would have lost at least another 20 pounds if I'd, lost, if I'd gone R and Y. But here I am, status quo and frustrated. So um, I've kind of slacked off on the walking as much as I had. Um, I'm not challenging people anymore. Um, I'm not recording my food anymore. It didn't seem to matter uh, what I was eating. I did have this last week a couple of dumping syndrome days. I don't know what was going on. I would get up in the morning and I, wouldn't, I was on a fast, so I wouldn't eat until like maybe noon or one. And then I would eat. And literally within an hour, I'd be in the bathroom just doubled over. So I don't know what was going on with that. So I kind of backed off on food altogether because I didn't know what was causing it or what I was eating that was making it uh, doing that. Um, whether it was the way I was eating it, whatever. So here I am. Just the same old, same old. Just doing the same thing over and over again. So anyway... I just thought I'd give you an update. I know there's probably more frustrated people out there like me. Um, so yeah. All right, so as you notice, I did cut my hair. I made an appointment, or I was gonna make an appointment and they didn't have any openings until like way into September. And I'm like, okay, well forget it. I said, but put me on the call list. So they called me last week and um, said that they had an opening for Friday. So I took it and I went in and I talked to her about my hair and the bottom part that she cut off and I'm not sure how much that was, probably three inches, four inches she cut off, was just, there was nothing left. So when she pulled my hair out like this, she could see I have all these different levels of hair. And so they're all causing my hair to do this weird thing. So um, so I, we decided that I was gonna, I'm gonna start scheduling a haircut every two months um, to see if I can get this thing to grow out. Um, I do like this hairstyle. Um, she actually, she actually blow dried it with a diffuser and then let it just kind of puff up. And I had my natural curl, which was amazingly curly. I couldn't believe how curly my hair is because I have lived my whole life with straight hair and now I'm dealing with this whole wavy stuff. This morning though, I took it and actually blow dried it to see what it would do. And so, yeah, this is what I get. I didn't curl it or anything, but I could curl it, but I think she layered it. If I think, yeah, I think it's layered a little bit and so I was thinking she'd layered it more but anyway it's just different and it's funny because I don't feel anything here and so when I move my head it's like oh there's hair back here so it's just kind of weird for me so I'm sure that those of you who've had haircuts that <laughs> after long hair for a long time 
literally I've had long hair my whole, almost my whole adult life. Um, I, and I, and I, she agreed with me too, that I cannot cut my hair shorter than here or shorter than here because my face is so long and thin, especially now when I was overweight, it wasn't, but now that it looks really, I mean, my face looks even longer. So I'm going to keep it below my chin and, um, maybe one of these days I'll get a chin face left. No, that's never going to happen. Which leads me to the next thing, plastics. I've really been thinking about plastics. I... I really think that no matter how much weight I lose, I'm still going to feel like I haven't lost any weight. I haven't lost all the weight because um, my stomach is so big and I have so much skin here. And, um, you know, right here, I don't care about this. This is not this is not something that I'm concerned about. I do not like what it does under my, uh, under my arms. but And my husband doesn't like that my breasts are gone. But... Um, my stomach is my biggest problem, my stomach and my inner thighs. So, um, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to make a doctor's appointment to see if I can have a referral to a dermatologist and just at least have a referral and ask them what, what I can do and how I can do it. And if insurance will pay for it and on and on and on, I've been getting rashes. I've been getting, um, I've been getting all kinds of things that I don't really appreciate. Rashes on my bottom now, and I think it might be summer, but the more I walk, the more rashes I get. So um, that is a problem. So uh, I think that I will be considering plastics soon. So, But anyway, this is just a quick update. Um, also, the scale's not moving, as I said. My activity level has gone down just a little bit. I haven't had to mow the lawn because we had, our grass isn't growing. And so, um, but as far as the food and stuff, I've been trying a variety of different things and it's not working. So, all right, well, six minute video, you get a bonus today. So, but please, if you have a chance, um, like, and subscribe, um, it encourages me with the comments I get. Um, and I really have been enjoying all your videos. I know summer's hard, so I will talk to you guys all, hopefully not on next in the next month, maybe before. So, um, we'll, we'll just. Check and see. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.